It is now in order to consider amendment number two printed in House Report 113-214. For what purpose does a gentleman from Texas seek recognition? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number two printed in House Report House Report Number 113-214, offered by Mr. V.C. of Texas. Pursuant to House Resolution 347, the gentleman from Texas, Mr. V.C., and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Texas. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I thank you for recognizing me. I rise to offer this amendment uh, because, uh, Mr. Chairman, mineral exploration and mining have a deep history in our country. We have vast resources in America that we have been able to use for our own security, innovation, and economic benefit. Uh, this is why we must continue to explore these resources in a smart, environmentally sensitive manner. It is dangerous for America to depend on countries like China for rare earth elements and rare uh, metals. These elements are necessary for telecommunications, military technologies, healthcare technologies, as well as conventional and renewable energy technologies. But the underlying bill goes far beyond these specific minerals in defining what constitutes strategic and critical. While the National Strategic and Critical Minerals Production Act gives four characteristics to what should be a strategic and critical mineral, it leaves the exact minerals open to interpretation. The majority has stated that their purpose for leaving in the definition, this definition so broad as to allow for flexibility over time. Uh, this bill would cover virtually all hard rock minings on federal lands. I think most Americans will agree that sand and gravel are important to our economy, but how many would be willing to go on federal lands in places such as the Grand Canyon uh, in order to uh, uh, mine these two uh, elements? Uh, that is why I've proposed my amendment to H.R. 761. My amendment would give the Secretary of Interior their authority to specifically list what are strategic and critical minerals and give this information available uh, and make this information available to the public. After a, after a given number of years, looking at the global and national landscape for mineral exploration, the Secretary would have the authority to change this list as factors dictate. Uh, this allows for flexibility in responding to global mineral markets while protecting our public resources. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I know both Democrats and Republicans strongly support the development of rare earth elements and other critical minerals necessary for our national security and national competitiveness, but we must refrain from allowing the mining industry to define what is critical uh, solely in accordance with their economic needs. That is why I urge my colleagues to vote yes on my amendment to define what minerals are of national public interest and to protect the prestige of public lands. I reserve the balance of my time. Gentlemen reserves, for what purpose does the gentleman from Washington rise? Mr. Chairman, I rise to claim uh, time in opposition. Gentlemen to recognize. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. Gentlemen to recognize. Clearly, uh, with, this, with the last amendment and this amendment, uh, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle are really disturbed about what strategic is, and I, I guess they, uh, I, I can understand that. I obviously disagree with that. This is very similar to the last amendment, except it specifically gives the Secretary of Interior that power to decide what is critical or not. Now, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, I, I don't think from a policy standpoint we should give that much power to anybody, anybody, to say what is critical and not as far as minerals concerned that support our economy. Let me just give you a case in point of how we run into problems with this. Less than 10 years ago, people were concerned about platinum group metals used in computer and electronics and the pending shortfall of copper. So there's a, because we hadn't defined these broad categories, see, if we had this bill in place 10 years ago, this category would have taken care of itself because the market would have suggested we need new minerals uh, in order to support a certain sector of the economy. But no, when you pick winners and losers, then you have to go through the whole process and the hand-wringing and high prices and all of those things that slow down the economy. So. Uh, once again, in deference to my uh, good friend that offered this amendment, in a bill that is trying to add certainty to the regulatory process, this adds another layer of uncertainty 
by giving it to the Secretary of Interior. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, I don't think that is good policy. This goes along again with the last, uh, the last amendment by voice vote. That was rejected. This should be re rejected in a like manner, and I urge my uh, colleagues to oppose the amendment, and I reserve my time. Gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Uh, I, I would, uh, Mr. Speaker, I would like to um, ask uh, the gentleman from Washington uh, in this bill who would decide what is strategic uh, and, a, and a critical mineral. I yield. I yield balance to the gentleman. The gentleman from Washington. The, is the gentleman yield to me? Yes. I'd be more happy to tell you, uh, and I, I made this. Uh, if you look on page five under definitions, strategic and critical minerals, the term, quote, strategic, I, can, I always have trouble saying that word, <laughs> understand strategic, right? and critical minerals means minerals that are necessary, and there's four categories, for national defense and national security requirements. I can't predict in 25 years which mineral will support our weapons, for example, but that is a category in which that would be a critical mineral. B, for the nation's energy infrastructure, including pipelines, refining capacity, electoral, uh, electrical power generation and transmission, and renewable energy production. Now, I have no idea what in the future critical minerals will need to support those activities, but I know before wind and solar took hold, uh, nobody was worrying about those minerals, uh, but this category, if you had it by category, uh, you would have, you would have uh, not have to go through the hand wringing to find out where that source is. C, to support domestic manufacturing, agriculture, housing, telecommunications, health care, and transportation infrastructure. Speaker, I'd like to reclaim on that. Chairman reclaims his time. I, Gentleman's uh, recognized. Uh, again, uh, I wanted to ask the gentleman who would decide what is strategic uh, and a critical mineral. I mean, I, I listened to the gentleman uh, in his explanation, and I never heard exactly who would decide in his explanation. Would the gentleman yield? I, I yield. Yeah, it, it's, it, 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 well, just let me finish then, because there's only one more, and I, I do want to say that. For the nation's economic security and balance uh, of trade. So once, once that category is defined, and somebody wants to, uh, uh, we find some, some element, I, I don't know, pick a, pick a name, there are always new names, I can't pronounce them anyway, and they find out that uh, there's a new industry that wants a certain element. If, if the, uh, uh, an entrepreneur wants to mine for that, they make the permit and it's decided by the federal agency. Very simple. And if it fits this category, he gets a permit. Uh, that, that's, that's the beauty of it. I'll reclaim my time, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Reckon, it's the, uh, and the, the answer to that would be the Secretary of the Interior, Mr. Speaker. Gentlemen, uh, the, gentleman's, the, balance of my time. the gentleman's time has expired. Gentleman from Washington is recognized. The gentleman's time has expired? Yes. Well, we have, I, I yield myself the balance of the time. Gentleman's I just want to say that we have uh, somewhat ex ex exhausted this, but the difference between this gentleman's amendment and, and, and uh, the broad categories I say is that he, he, or I should say the Secretary of the Interior picks that. The Secretary picks it. Under the underlying bill, yes, the Secretary picks it, but if it meets these broad categories, then of course he has to uh, pick that, uh, that mineral. That makes perfectly good sense because it responds to the marketplace. So Mr. Uh, Chairman, I urge rejection of this amendment and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Texas. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. no. The opinion of the chair, the noes Mr. have Speaker, it. The gentleman from Texas. As for a recorded vote, please. Pursuant to Clause 6 of Rule 18, further proceedings on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Texas will be postponed.